You'd ask me about um, SRB, the Single Regeneration Budget. That was actually something that was established by Michael Hesseltine um, when he was Secretary of State for Environment in the, uh, the last Conservative government. So it goes back um, 15, maybe more, years. Um, and the rationale for that was that uh, he recognised that government ministers have a, uh, a great ability to, to always want new initiatives and so you find that each spending department has got little pots of money doing this, that and the other so that their minister can make a public announcement about this new initiative. Uh, and strangely enough, that isn't actually the most efficient way to use your money. So what Hesseltine did was he said, right, we're having that and we're going to block together all these separate little pots of money and put them into one single budget dealing with regeneration. Uh, hence, single regeneration budget. Now that money was available on a bidding basis, so you had to make a case to government. It wasn't enough to say, we've got significant levels of deprivation, give us some money. It was, we've got significant levels of deprivation. If you give us the following amount of money, here are the things that we promise you that we will be able to do as a result of that, um, both in terms of ameliorating the situation in the area and also in terms of creating new jobs and new opportunities. So for Preston, um, we had two SRB schemes. We had one uh, in the area around PNE, um, for which we had, I think, about 6.5 million. And then we had a further 20 million um, for the Avonham um, area. Uh, and that funding only came to an end about 18 months ago now. Um, of course the rationale for that was the government gives you a grant, say 20 million for Avonham, and you then also promise that you will use that to lever in additional money from other sources of public and private investment. Um, so I think for the 20 million the government invested um, we brought in probably about another 40 million uh, into the area. How successful would you say the investment in Avonham has been? I think the evaluation when we did it um, was consistent with the type of uh, experience that other schemes have had, which was that overall the scheme performed well, uh, it exceeded its targets overall, um, in some areas, um, it exceeded its target significantly, whereas in others it undershot slightly. One area where we, under, where we did undershoot was that we had said we would provide many more um, job opportunities in the area, but we had been relying on the Tithe Barn um, scheme, which is the proposal to develop about a third of the city centre. Um, we were relying on that coming on stream at an earlier date than it now appears it was going to. So we undershot on our targets there. But we overperformed on things like numbers of training places provided, numbers of buildings renovated, the contribution made to decent home standard um, and the like.